Hit Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to tackle one of the most requested tutorials I have, and that is how to do the Star Wars opening crawl in Hit Film Express. Now, I'm delighted to say that I am working in Hit Film Express version 5, but I can tell you that this will work in any version of Hit Film. So, whenever you are watching this video, you should be able to get this to work. So, we're going to start by creating a new composite shot, and it will be whatever length it needs to be. I'm going to make it a minute 30 and click OK. But depending on your music and how big your crawl is and what you're doing, you all of that stuff will end up changing. So these are sort of the basics that you will do to get your crawl going. OK, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new text layer and I want it to be 1320 by 400 on a 1080p uh, scaled video. And I am going to just type in a long time ago in a galaxy far comma far away dot dot dot. And after highlighting that, I'm going to go and find a font that works. Now, if you have some Star Wars fonts on your computer, that's great. OK, but if you don't, then what I have found is Franklin, Franklin Gothic works pretty well. OK. And you'll change the color to some sort of a light blue. All right. And then you'll just want to increase it until the second far comes down to the second line there. Okay. You might want to center it so that it looks pretty good. Now, this usually goes, and I'm going to just rename this a long time. And this usually goes about um five or six seconds okay so if i go ahead and start by keyframing the opacity and dropping that down to zero if i then go to say one second and i go up to 100 percent i then say go to five seconds or now let's go to four seconds four seconds and i hit this button to make another keyframe and then i go to five seconds and i keyframe it down to zero then I'll have it. What I want to do is grab all of those keyframes and click this little guy right here to make it smooth. OK, so now it will look like this comes up and then goes away just like that. OK, and at five seconds it is gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it to that point. OK, now before I go any further, I probably will want to add a new grade layer. And on that grade layer, I'm going to add an effect, and that effect will be the letterbox effect. So that way I know exactly where my letterbox is. Okay. Now, if you have a Star Wars logo that's a PNG and is transparent or whatever, and you want to use that, feel free. Okay. And I have one too, but I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit differently. I'm going to create a new text layer, and I'm going to make it the size of my composite shot or or my uh, screen which is 1920 by 1080 click OK and then I am going to actually type in in all capital letters star and wars just like that OK and I'm going to highlight that I'm going to center it and I'm going to make it really big and I am going to change the color to yellow now, the problem is, is that normally this is um, sort of a different looking letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one that I like, and I'm going to actually use a Star Wars Star Jedi font, uh, but it's filled in. So what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and make it transparent and instead make this part, this outside edging yellow and then just increase that okay now it's a little bit bunched up here so i think i will spread them out a little bit to taste here maybe about you know that far okay that looks okay i think we'll go with that okay and there's my logo all right so now what is going to happen in this actually i'm gonna i'm gonna actually call this title and that may be a different title whoops i have it all in capital letters let's try that again title this may be a different title for yours, okay? So it will come down here next, and it will appear right here. And this is where the music starts, bomb, right? What I want to do is I want to add a new camera layer. And 
then I can make the title itself three-dimensional. If I change to a second view and make the second view a left-handed view, then I can sort of see where my title is, okay? And if I were to grab that and slide it forward until it is just getting ready to appear on the screen, maybe right there, okay? And then I keyframe the position of it, and then I go forward, you know, usually that lasts about six or seven seconds. Let's go six seconds, okay? Because it's let's make it a quick, and then it goes way out like that, okay? At this point, uh, of course, I would want it to have faded out. So I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the opacity here and make it zero. If I back up um, and to there then it's 100%. Now, actually, what I really want to do is I want to move these out. So I'm just going to grab them, and I'm going to slide them out as far... Whoops. I'm going to slide them out as far as I want them to be, okay? Maybe about like that long. So now what we have until this point is this. So we're going to get rid of the grid it comes on it says a long time ago blah 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 it fades out and then bang and here comes the star wars etc and so on now if you want that um uh, perhaps to um wait a minute or two or a second i mean maybe i'll back that up so that it doesn't you know it, it fades out there and then boom it starts okay at the same time that that starts though we have a, a bunch of um stars up here okay so i'm going to create a new plane layer and i'm going to call it stars make sure it's black click ok i'm going to bring it down underneath everything and it will appear when the title text appears and i'm going to add two effects to that one will be the um fractal noise effect and i am going to make it a star field okay and i could just leave that if i wasn't planning on panning my camera at all after this but usually people pan the camera somewhere so the second one i'm going to add will be the 360 video viewer effect and i will go ahead and change the scale of that to about 20 percent, so they look kind of very nice like stars okay so now this there are no stars bang and then now there are stars okay all right about you know right here or so is where my texts are going to begin somewhere in this neighborhood okay where they're going to start the crawls going to start from here okay so here's how this is going to work basically i am going to create a crawl that's going to three-dimensionally slide on back okay so i'm going to start by making a title i'm just going to go ahead and let's make it about that big. Now, my problem is that this is way too big and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to type a letter in my title. Okay. And then I'm going to say Control A. And then I'm going to rescale that until I can actually see it. Okay. I'm going to make this back to zero. I'm going to go ahead and refill this and make that zero. And I'm going to change the font back to my Franklin um, Gothic. Okay. Uh, which is which is gonna work pretty well for the uh, for the thing as well. Okay, all right. From here, I can now go ahead and just sort of change it to the size that I want the title to be. So let's say I want it to be about that big, and I want it to say in all capital letters the Phantom Sensei. And I do want it to be all on one line, of course. There we go. And I do want it to be centered. So what I'm going to do is, this will be the title again, right? This is sort of maybe a title like this, okay. And I want this title to appear more back here. Uh, and again, just like I did before, I want to go ahead and sort of center this, okay. And I want it to be um, mostly centered within itself here. So, you know, about their center of the screen sort of a thing. Okay. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I want it to be a little taller. So, I'm going to go and break the scale and make it about 200% tall on the Y-axis. And there's my phantom 
sensei title. Okay, I'm going to push that back. Now I'm going to start working on, and, and by the way, if I needed an episode number, I would make an episode number just like that. Okay, now I'm going to start working on my actual crawl itself. So I'm just going to draw myself a fairly large box. And I'm going to actually type in the crawl itself. So now that I've typed in that crawl, what's going to happen is, is I need to sort of make it, um, you know, block justification. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller across the board. Um, about 80 maybe. And um, also the original title can be removed now that it's gone, right? So I'm just going to slice that and get rid of it. Yeah. So when it's gone, it's gone. Okay. All right. So now what's going to happen is, is I need to actually justify it. Okay. Block justify. So it has a center justification, has a left justification, has a right justification, but it hit film does not have a center justification and that's sort of a pain. So what we're going to do is, is we are going to just create our own. Okay. I'm going to left justify it. And then I'm just going to start pushing like this. Okay. And maybe I'll add a space here and then bang, see how that one shifted over a little bit. When that happens, I'm going to Delete that shift and use a carriage return instead. Okay. Now this one doesn't need anything because it's already shifted. So I'm just going to delete that one and bring it on over. Now we got quite a big space here. So I'm going to add a couple of spaces there, add a couple of spaces there, add a couple of spaces there, maybe a couple of there, maybe a couple of more. Whoops. Wrong side. How about a couple right here, a couple right there, maybe there. And when that actually happens, then I can backspace and enter. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. And until I get to a point where I'm feeling like, um, ah, there we go. Okay. And pow. Okay. And I'm going to do that for all of these until I am done. So now that I've done all of those, I'm just going to sort of maneuver it into position and I'll bring the other one in here too. And so now basically this is going to be my crawl. This is how it looks. All right. So what I want to do is, is I want to make both of these into three dimensional planes. And then I'm going to add a new point layer. And that point is also going to be a three-dimensional plane. And I am going to us align or parent those two to that three-dimensional plane. Now, or point. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my left-handed, and under the three-dimensional point, I am just going to rotate the X uh, axis rotation until I like it. Okay, some people, I, I think around 75 is a good number. Okay. Some people like to go as low as 60. I think that's too low. Some people like to go as high as 80. I think that's a little high. 70 or 75, maybe 72, something like that is pretty good. I'm going to go 75. Okay. Um, and then you could just grab the green arrow and just slide it. Okay. So I'm going to back this up until just when it's supposed to be starting onto the screen like there. And I am going to keyframe the position. Then I'm going to go out until the point where I think I want it to fade out. And I'm just going to drag it on out there. Okay. And that will depend on your music and everything else. Okay. But then at that point, your title and your text will, your crawl and your title will, the opacity will sort of fade out over about a second. So I'm just going to create a couple of keyframes and... Um, have it go from zero or from 100 to zero. And I'll just copy those and I will do the same thing right there. So that just sort of fades out. Okay. At that point, then your camera may pan, right? And other things will happen. But basically, that is the general gist of how you would create a opening Star Wars crawl in 
hit film. Now, if you don't like this is too wide or something like that, you can always narrow it, change it. You can change the scale of it. You could change the font size and then rework it, you know, however you want. But basically, that's the idea in a nutshell. Make sure you get it right the way it looks for your film and then go for it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.